Well, this Independence Day, there was no shortage of ways to celebrate. And for World War II veteran Roy Kenyon, it was one holiday he will not soon forget, thanks to the Buffalo Bisons. Two on your sides, Liz Lewin reports from Salem Field. One, two, three, go Bisons! <laughs> July 4th is no ordinary day or night at Salem Field. It's just great to get out and do everything again, just like we used to do. It's been a long time since Western New York celebrated Independence Day like this. Baseball, fans, food, and of course, a lot of fun. The Buffalo Bisons Key Bank Independence Night game against the Syracuse Mets started with an unforgettable ceremonial first pitch. Thrown by 100-year-old Lockport native and World War II veteran Roy Kenyon, who came ready to shine. I practiced that. That's all. I, I got through it, so that's what make, made my day. The Bison signed Kenyon to a one-day contract so that he could live out his dream in front of a crowd, while officially wearing a Bison's jersey for the first time. And boy, has he waited for this moment. In fact, Kenyon was a star high school baseball player set to try out for the team back in the summer of 1942, but he never got around to it. Instead, he enlisted in the U.S. Navy, and he fought in World War II. And this fellow, the bison, says, I'd like to have you come up and take bat and practice with us. I says, oh, I thank you. The only thing is, I says, I'm leaving tomorrow morning for the Navy. Our catcher was there, and he says, well, I'm going with you. But that wasn't the only special pitch of the night. Zaire Goodman, one of the survivors of the Topps mass shooting, and his mother, Zanetta Everhart, also hit the mound. And after tonight's game, there was the BPO concert, followed by the largest fireworks show of the season. Needless to say, fans were on board for all of it. There's nothing more American than enjoying a hot dog and watching a baseball game. So. This is our first time coming to the July 4th game. We are so excited. What's your favorite thing about baseball? Uh, batting. That's another Independence Day in the books. In Buffalo, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.